If you've been following my videos over the years, you know I've warned you about tire shops. But after what's happened to me over the last six months with a couple of different tire shops, I'm gonna strike back. I mean, I am really upset. Not only am I seeing this problem of tire shops not cleaning the hubs or cleaning the rust off the backside of the wheels before mounting them, they don't even seem to know anything about using anti-corrosion so the wheel doesn't stick to the hub so you can't get it off when you're out on the road and have a flat tire. But now this problem of over-torquing lug bolts seems to have become epidemic. We just pulled these four wheels off a 2000 Mercedes. I had Jerson do it because I was out of town. And he said, can't, you can't believe it. It took me hours to get four wheels off the car. Now, can you imagine how upset you would be? And to think we've got the tools here in the shop to do this. If you were trying to do this on the road or at your garage, man, you'd be even more <laughs> upset than I am. We had two bolts bend. I mean, we're talking about the impact wouldn't do it. He was out there on a bar, you know, a big extension bar trying to push on it with his foot, bent two lug bolts and broke two off. And guess what happens when they break off? You've got to get the drill out and drill and that's very hard steel and that's what took most of the time. Let me show you how bad this was and you'll understand why I'm not too happy with tire shops lately. Here's one of the lug bolts that uh, Jerson had to drill out. And there's part of the bolt still in there. I'm not even sure that we're gonna be able to get this out without damaging the wheel. And you can see right here what has to happen. You have to drill through quite a bit of metal to get that head off. Here is what the head looked like on the other one that drilled out. And it's hard, it's really tough steel. So you've gotta have some really good bits and a very powerful drill to do that. We may be talking about a wheel here that we can't save. So that's another thing that's not making me too happy. Let me show you these bolts up close now. Well, here's the damage laid out on the bench and I wanna show you what these lug bolts look like. You know, they have the shoulder down here that fits on the wheel and then they have extension. So this brings the head out flush with the flat part of the alloy wheel. Well, look where the heads broke off, right there. Now, Jerson figures from his experience that these must have been torqued at least 250 foot-pounds. Can you believe that? <laughs> Unbelievable. Literally broke two of these bolts out and sees this one right in the socket there. That's a six-sided socket. I have to beat that out to get that out. But we had two bolts bend. You can see the bend in those and then two of them that had to be drilled out. And that meant that you had to drill through this part of the head right here all the way through, and you had to use just the right size bit. You see, you want to bit the size of that shoulder on the bolt itself, so when you go through, it's just gonna snap off without damaging the wheel. So that should give you a clear picture why I'm losing my faith in tire shops. And I know there's good ones out there, but you're gonna have to be careful when you go in to uh, get your tires changed. I would recommend you actually do what I do now when the car comes back, unless I've got confirmation they've used a torque wrench, I check the torque myself. The last car I had the wheels put on this Land Cruiser and they came back and they were way too tight too. So this is a problem that you need to be aware of. So what is the solution anyway? Well, I think when you go into a tire shop, you need to discuss the matter with them. <laughs> if you can, take them your torque wrench, preset to the proper torque spec for your particular wheels. That may give them the message that you're serious about proper torquing. If they won't do it, well, I would go find another tire shop. But this is becoming a tool that I think most owners of cars should own <laughs> because we all have our tires changed, we all have tire work done. And you really want to check what they've done when the car comes home. So if you don't have a torque wrench and a proper size socket for your wheels, I recommend you get one and pay attention to the torque on your own lugs or you may end up with a lot more pain than even we experienced.